Friday night Found a photograph of us Welcome to my summer decorate with me of 2022. In today's video, we are going to be doing some decorating for summer and we are also going to be doing seven really simple, easy and affordable side dishes that you can take to any barbecue or any event you are having. It's also just perfect to make during the summer because only one of these requires you to cook anything and we will get into that later on in this video but without further ado thank you so much for being here let's go ahead and jump into the decorating so i wanted to leave my usa sign up until at least after the fourth of july and but i wanted to put my lemon reef back up as well so i kind of just merged the two together it may look a little weird but the usa sign is going to come down within a week from now and then i'll just leave my lemon reef up there until we decorate for fall which will be most likely i'm going to wait till september this year I also picked up these flags at Big Lots. They were $1.50 each. And I left the sticker on one of them that you will see in a second, but don't worry. I did go back out there and pick it off once I saw that. So I'm just adding these to my plants right here. And I just think they look cute next to my summer decor that was already out here. All of the, um, the flags came from Big Lots and the other things came from games. Those flags were a dollar twenty-five or a dollar fifty at um, Big Lots, and I will have a summer decor. Actually, it's already went up. I believe there is a summer decor shop with me I will have it at the end of this video for y'all so y'all can go check that out if you want but I went to Big Lots, Burke's Outlet, Ross, and TJ Maxx to look at all of their summer decor and I actually plan on going to Hobby Lobby and Target next week so we will see what they have in store for us there I know like by then all the 4th of July items will probably be gone um, they may have some on clearance which is what I'm actually looking for because I don't have a lot of summer decor when it comes to patriotic themes um, so now we're gonna move on to decorating in the living room also we are going to be making potato salad later on in this video so if you want to make it with me go ahead and boil your potatoes while we're waiting here is the before of our little tv stand and i'm just going to be decorating the bottom of it with the decor that i already had from last year and I got the two red, white, and blue items from Hobby Lobby. The greenery was actually from another plant that you'll see in the middle here from Dollar General. And the H is also from Hobby Lobby. One tip for small spaces, you don't have a lot of room to decorate, is to decorate with blankets. So I'm just going to put away the winter blanket I had in this fall blanket and then put out this blue blanket because I think it goes great with the red, white, and blue theme. So 
so I'm keeping the living room really simple one reason because I actually don't have a lot of stuff that's good for living room it's the rest of this is pretty much kitchen items and curtains um, but I actually really like this because of how simple it is and I just left out this blue um, blanket right here it's more of a celestial um, astrology type blanket but the blue really helps with this blue down here so that's what I did over there also I found my little headband I knew I had bought one of these but I found it I grabbed this at Dollar Tree um, probably a couple months ago now or maybe a month ago but so cute meant to wear it for my thumbnail totally forgot but that's all right now we're gonna move into the kitchen once we get done in here we'll go ahead and start cooking all right so this little command station I have here I have this really cute cow and I put him there and he is one of the cows that has I think you put cream in it or gravy so I put some greenery in his little spout and then try to put greenery underneath him it just looked a little bit weird so I ended up putting the greenery picks underneath this container that has my uh, planner and all those things in there and I thought that turned out really cute taking down all this decor that I have up here and my little candy dishes I still have my candy dishes on my table because I don't know what to do with them but I'm putting this big mama cow up here with this little pioneer woman candle and I'm just leaving it as that with a little bit more of that greenery I showed earlier. And now I'm just going to take y'all through the rest of the kitchen and the areas that were already previously decorated or I have some floral arrangements out and uh, that way you can see everything that is in the kitchen. So I love anything fairy inspired. So these little fairies were from the Dollar Tree. I got all these little um, cardinals from a thrift store. And then I have another one over by my diffuser that was sent to me by one of my viewers. This little house is from Dollar Tree as well. And then these are actually salt and pepper shakers. Y'all, I have ants. I've done really good to keep everything clean. And I've even, um, there's some potato peel. I was peeling the potatoes earlier. I've even started to just rinse out all of my plastic and stuff like that. And just um, recycle everything. Anything that's, and, and no food goes in the, uh, trash can anymore but we still have some stragglers um anyways the salt and pepper shakers came from my friend faith from faith's life and i'm pretty sure um shoot i i feel like she got these either from a pop shelf or she ordered them online i'm not sure about I, i'm pretty sure it was pop shelf anyways this is a clipping of the basil in my yard I was watching somebody's video and they were correct they said that the basil is just like the mint where it will start to root if you put it in water and then you can have more than one 
thing of basil, which I thought was really awesome. So I just used the old Starbucks cup and put that in there. And then pretty sure this jar is an old like spaghetti jar and looks like something got in there. I'm gonna have to clean it out or my flower, my blue flowers are falling. Um, and then all these flowers are from outside. So that pretty much concludes the summer decor themed items. And now I'm really excited to jump into these seven quick and easy recipes that you can take to any barbecue. Everybody will be excited about it. And they are so easy and affordable to make. Now we are going to be doing the seven easy barbecue side dishes. I am so excited for this part of the video. So give this video a thumbs up if you are so excited as I am about making all this food. Okay, so the first thing we are going to be making is fruit salad, which is so easy because you just pick your favorite summer and spring fruit items mix them together you can add some sugar if you would like or any kind of syrups you would like and then just set it in the fridge the longer you leave it in the fridge i'd say a few hours the better it's going to be so I just chopped up some strawberries of course i washed all this fruit before i did any of this and i'm adding in some blackberries blackberries totally remind me of summer and then I peeled and then I cut the sides off of the kiwi and just cubed it up and put it in the bowl as well and then I want to show y'all how I cut my cantaloupe so I will cut it in half and then I will cut it in a four slice like this and then I just go straight down there and take all the seeds and the top off with it so there's no more mess I've tried spooning out the seeds and it's just it's just so messy y'all um, so it's very similar to cutting a mango in this part of it you're just gonna cut it in little cubes and then slice right down the edge right there and it just makes cutting a cantaloupe so much easier and a lot less messy so let me know have you ever seen anybody cut a cantaloupe like this or do you cut your cantaloupe like this as well because my hands cannot stand the texture of those nasty seeds and the slime and all of that but this fruit salad is absolutely delicious and I will tell y'all the last meal side dish I'm going to show y'all in the video actually includes this fruit salad so we're really only making six side dishes but one of them can double as two which is awesome as always next up we have potato salad so I went ahead and cubed and boiled my potatoes earlier and I'm just going to put them in a bowl I do peel them as much as I can but if you like red potato salad then you would probably leave the peel on I'm just putting a couple tablespoons of mustard and then about a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise. Then to mine, I'm adding one half of a minced or diced onion. You can use whatever onions you like. I'm going to add some salad cubes to mine. You could use relish. You could cut up your own pickles if you want to. You could leave them out if you want to. Um, of course, you don't see me in the video do this, but salt and pepper as you like to taste. I'm going to be adding a, about half a bag of those bacon bits. And then this is optional, but I love adding dried cranberries in just about anything. So I'm going to add those in there. And then if you like um, walnuts or, yeah, walnuts or not walnuts. Yeah, walnuts or pecans. Add that in there too. It is so good. That is such a delicious potato salad. And now we're going to make a caprese salad, or you could call this an olive salad. But I have black olives, fresh mozzarella pearls. They're just so much easier because they just pop right out of the bag. Another half of an onion, so the other half of the onion, some basil, and then I halved my cherry tomatoes. So I'm going to be adding all of this to a bowl. And then I'm also going to have the olives as well. And I'm going to be using the balsamic 
vinegar in mine as a dressing and I just mix it up and I feel like the olives, the mozzarella, the tomatoes, and the basil and the salad dressing add a lot of flavor to it so I do not add any salt or pepper to mine but if you prefer to do that you can. I just think it's really salty already with the seasoning seasoning with the salad dressing um and then i just mix it up and it's so so good tastes amazing this is just so refreshing on a hot summer day it's been very hot here and i'm sure anybody at a barbecue would love to have that as a side dish now we're doing a lot of the same ingredients just to save money and to make a lot of different things. So cucumber salad, I'm just making these portion wise for myself because Aaron doesn't really eat any of this food that I'm fixing today. But I peeled my cucumbers to take away any of that bitterness and I cubed them up. I halved the tomatoes and then I'm going to add a half of a minced onion as well. And then we're just using that same balsamic vinegar and we're going to mix it up in there. Similar to the fruit salad, the longer you can leave the cucumber salad in the fridge, the better it's going to be. So I would say overnight would be your best option and then just take it with you the next day. But that is the cucumber salad and my favorite of all the recipes we're making today is this pea salad. This has a lot going on in it so I will actually leave the Pinterest recipe linked down below. But you're going to need some cubed ham, some tiny green peas, a block of sharp cheddar cheese. You're not going to use the whole block. Some sour cream. Dried cranberries are optional. Those were not included in the recipe, but I wanted to add them. Some bacon bits, some mayonnaise, apple cider vinegar, and then you're also going to need a tablespoon of granulated sugar. So I've got most of my ingredients already in the bowl, and then I'm going to add the ham right here. I ended up using the whole thing of ham. You may need to break it up a little bit, as you'll see me do in this portion of the video because some of the pieces do like to clump together. Then I diced up my cheese about the same size as the ham and you can add more or less cheese. I would say I added about a third of a cup of cheese there. And then I'm adding half a cup of mayonnaise. We like the Duke's mayonnaise. It's the best. I'm just going to say it. And then we're going to add a half of an onion. So we've used a total of two onions today. <laughs> and um, all the recipes actually called for red onions or purple onions. But I just wanted to save money and I already had onions at home. So I just used the onions I had. And then we're going to add about, I think I put about a fourth of a cup of sour cream in here. But, of course, that recipe is going to be down below. So you can go um, look at the exact measurements there. And we're going to add one teaspoon of vinegar. I did not want to dirty up another spoon, so I just used the giant tablespoon I have. But there was quite a bit of sour cream still left on it, so I did do about a teaspoon there. And then you're going to add that one tablespoon of sugar to the bowl as well. You can use whatever kind of sweetener you like as, as well. You don't have to use regular sugar. You can use sugar, sugar free sugar like Splenda or Stevia, whatever have you. And then you are going to add some salt and pepper to taste. And then you just mix it all up.
this is definitely one of those recipes that I have to moderate myself on and make sure I'm not overeating because of how delicious it is. And then the next thing and we're going to make is Greek pinwheels. So we're still using those black olives that we used in the caprese salad. So if you have any of those left over, you can use that. And then I'm just going to use my regular green olives as well because they have the pimento in there and I really wanted to have some pimento. Um, but you're going to want some chive, an onion, cream cheese. You could use salami, um, any kind of deli meats you want to use. Pepperoni would be great in this. All I had on hand was ham and turkey, so that's what I'm going to use in mine. But it would be even better if you could use more of a Greek or... Um, yeah, more of a, a Greek style cut of deli meat instead of the ham and turkey. I'm just dicing up my olives as small as I can get them because we're going to use it as a topping. So I've flattened out my tortilla shell right here and now I'm just going to get a spoon and then spread out the cream cheese and I get the whipped cream cheese just because it's easier to spread. I'm going to add my ham. I'm adding some bacon bits. I just thought that would be good. And then all of my olives. And then I saw some recipes where they had some diced tomatoes and um, some lettuce. So you can add those as well. And then I roll it up as tight as I can without getting all the food out of there. But I find if you try to make it like a pizza at first, then it's a lot easier to roll up. And then you're just going to cut them and you could use little toothpicks um, to make them stick better. But the because we spread out the cream cheese on all the edges, it kind of acts like a glue for us and they stick together. I just um, eat the edges. That way uh, there's no really loose pieces. So. I love these pinwheels. They're so good. They're already gone. It's been a couple of days and I've ate every single one of them. And then the last recipe I was going to show you is to just take your fruit salad and turn it into a shortcake with some whipped cream topping. Hopefully you enjoyed these seven delicious barbecue side dishes you can take to any barbecue and let me know in the comments down below if you did and you want to see more videos like this where I do these type of recipes. I hope you enjoyed this year's summer decorate and cook with me easy and affordable barbecue side dishes or any summer get together you're going to have you could even do this just for your family and it's going to be so special and they're going to remember this but all of these meals were side dishes were super easy to make and everything that i purchased at the store was 50 dollars at my grocery store so you could just make one of these side dishes and take it to a party and you're probably looking at seven dollars depending on which one you make some more cheaper than others the one that had the olives in it was a little bit more and the pinwheels were a little bit more because cream cheese mozzarella and olives are a little bit pricey but the fruit salad was pretty affordable i got that thing of strawberries on sale for a dollar 29 and the cantaloupe were only a dollar something each so you could really spend five dollars on a side dish take it to a party and have a delicious side dish so budget friendly in everything um and of course we have things like potatoes onions mayonnaise mustard at home so you could really just go out get some bacon bits and cranberries Throw it all in a bowl with your potatoes, mayonnaise, mustard, make some potato salad. There you go. Deviled eggs is another really affordable side dish you could take to a party. Just boiled eggs with mayonnaise and mustard on the inside. Maybe a little paprika seasoned on top of there. Good to go. You don't have to make it fancy. But I am 
exhausted. I'm also really ready to eat lunch because it's after, yeah, it's after three o'clock and I am ready to eat some of this food. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave it a big thumbs up if you did. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe. Let me know down below what your favorite side dish was that I made today. And let me know if you're going to try one of these side dishes. I love the mozzarella, the olives. I love that. And I really like the pinwheels that can be very addicting. And potato salad, pea salad, my favorites. I can't wait for tonight when I sit down and I have one of those strawberry shortcakes with all the little fruit toppings on it with some whipped cream. So I will see y'all back here very soon for another video. Bye.